webtoon has tons of horror and thriller series. Many of them even belong to both categories. So I thought of creating a list for both. Out of over 60 ongoing and completed webtoon originals, officially tagged under the horror or thriller genre, I'll share with you guys my highly recommended titles, excluding the anthologies. I'm a fan of both genres, but I'm more into thrillers. I'll start with my favorites. So, here's my top 13. No, it's not intentional, but it's a cool coincidence, huh? Number 13, Uriah. You see here what happens to a cinnamon roll when surrounded by psychos. Number 12, Epilogue. If you don't mind the art style, you'll be rewarded with this intriguing thriller about a writer and a disturbing fan. Number 11, Shotgun Boy. I absolutely adore this series but it's mainly because I'm a fan of its sequel. But I have faith in the writer that the rest of the chapters will be as fantastic as the initial chapters. Number 10, Forest of Humans. This comic makes you wonder if it's the environment that drives people mad or maybe there's actually an inner psycho in all of us. Number 9, Ghost Teller. Stories here show that humans are way more frightening compared to ghosts and other supernatural monsters. Number 8, Escape Room, where cunning psychos try to survive from very dangerous escape rooms. Number 7, Distant Sky. This series makes the darkness way more frightening. Full of surprises, lots of creepy stuff, and the amazing art captures them so well. Number 6. It's Mine. Psycho stalkers are usually disgusting, but don't worry, in this series, the stalking part won't last that long. He ended up being more lovable and twisted than he appears. Number 5. Rotten. Horrifying artwork. I mean it in a good way. The atmosphere it brings is so perfect and it also handles mystery so well. The main characters are also quite charming. Number 4, Sweet Home. It shows the manifestation of the inner monsters among us. Full of action, suspense, and intrigue, it deserves its current fame. Number 3, Grasp. I absolutely adore the love triangle in it. It has intriguing characters and many unexpected twists. I don't get why this is so underrated. Number 2, Bastard. It's a webtoon classic. The love story is absolutely charming, but it's also way more disturbing in a sense that it shows what living with a criminal is like. Number 1. The Horizon It's a webtoon masterpiece. The story may be short, but it's full of deep psychological and philosophical themes. Absolutely mind-blowing and keeps you at the edge of your seat. I also love the titles in the next batch. It just so happened that I didn't like them as much as those in the top 13. If it's an ongoing series, perhaps it will end up as one of my favorites depending on the story's progress. Preferences change. But anyway, without further ado, here are my other recommendations. Number 20. Money Game This kind of survival game often makes me intrigued. Number 19, School Bus Graveyard. The canvas version seems better, but I still find this pretty cool. Number 18, Not Even Bones. I like the multinational variety of supernatural beings in this. Number 17, 
everything is fine. Looks cute, but it's actually quite disturbing. Number 16. Duty after school. There are characters here that are so despicable, but overall, this is very fantastic. Number 15. All of us are dead. I think I simply can't resist the zombie series. <laughs> Number 14. Dear X. It's such a unique psychological thriller. Number 13. Killstagram. Episode 7's plot twist got me hooked. The plot twist at the end though made me kinda disappointed but overall this is a fun read. Number 12. See No Evil. It gives me rotten vibes with a creepy good-looking villain involved much earlier in the story. Nice! Number 11. Arma. This had so much potential as a dark superhero comic, but oh well, overall, it's still pretty good. Number 10. The Red Book. It's amazing how simple ghost stuff can be creepier than a full ghost story. Number 9. Horang's Nightmare. It's like one of those popular horror comics that seem animated as you scroll down. It's a thrilling read. Number 8. Rebirth. Regression and zombies with fatherly love? We need more of this. Number 7. Delusion. Unique vampire story and fantastic art. The love story makes me delighted and sad at the same time. Number 6. My Deepest Secret This guy and his best friend, who is not the main character, are the only ones important for me in this series. Number 5. I'm the Grim Reaper I had loved this even when it was still black and white on its canvas days. Still cool and entertaining. Number 4. Hive. It's not often you see a good apocalyptic comic that had giant insects as enemies this time. Number 3. Pigpen. The only reason why it isn't among my favorites is because I didn't become attached to any character. But the story is mind-blowing. Number 2. Fast Forward. This reminds me of Future Diary, chapters could either be very boring or very exciting. I hope the heroine becomes more likable later. Number 1. Surviving Romance This is such a unique take on the isekai genre. Maybe I'll find this more interesting and addicting once the second male lead has more screen time. This batch contains other series that I find quite interesting. I just didn't like them enough to be interested to read every chapter, so I'm fine with just spoilers. My reason for not liking them enough could be petty, like on this one for example. Although I love its novel counterpart, I have all the parts of the Rod and Rune book series, I just can't last on the webtoon version simply because my favorite character looked so different from what I had imagined. <laughs> While on this one, although I absolutely adored its K-drama counterpart and I find it so cool that it had more mystery elements compared to romance, the characters and the overall appeal of the webtoon version is not the same or better than with its K-drama counterpart. In other words, I find the K-drama version way more charming and likable. And that is rare. Usually the live-action adaptations aren't as great as its original sources. Anyway, so in summary, even if I acknowledge the titles here to be pretty good, there's just something about it that prevents me from reading more about it. But that's just with me. So if any of them caught your attention, please check them out too.